Now, then this is uh, Dunzo. We will tackle the receiver friends from afar event. So let's see. One day, you and Paimon pass through Wanshu Inn. Only for notice, to attract your attention. So yeah, let's go to Wanshu Inn. <laughs> Can we make it? One. Oh, got it on the last one. <laughs> really? Yummy Yamcha. Okay. <laughs> so what does that do? So funny. So cute. With the um, Monzai or uh, solitary swanee headpieces. Oh, not headpieces, but garments. Uh, restores 14% of Matt's HP to the selected character and regenerates 350 HP every 5 seconds. Gaming specialty. Row upon row of lifelike swanny buns. So these are buns, sorry. Did pretty within the steamer. We need the formidable, clever youth leaping amidst the plum blossom hole. What's with that dumbfound expression? Another cup of tea for us there? With that, the cheerfully smiling fellow passes you another cup. It's amazing. Your my dad. Master Chef. Down there. Alright, let's see. Both on board. What is in store? Wang Shu in now hiring. Urgently seeking one temporary chef willing to pay top Mora salary negotiable. <laughs> salary negotiable, you say? Well, I, I quite like that. Yeah, of course, of course you would like the sound of more. Strange, why would Wanshu Inn suddenly need a new chef? They have, don't they have already a chef? I don't remember his name. <laughs> You're right, you, know what you know who you I'm talking about. Um, that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Oh, uh, Yanjo. seem like right. the type to hire help. Yeah. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper who I am. Should we go and see what's up? Hmm? Uh. <laughs> yeah. You better. You better want to check how much your job pays, don't you? Uh. Well, that and to check up on your <laughs> show, of face. course. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't tell me. All right, well. Oh, Paimon, what will I ever do with you? But, uh, we're going to be chefs. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Boss, I, there's really no need for this. It's... Just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Oh, so you... <laughs> you burnt yourself? Ow. Ali. Ali Yanjiao. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Hey, hey, Dragon Angel. <laughs> nice of you tuning in. 
Yeah, Genshin. <laughs> what don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The the situation of a uh, smiley Yan Zhao has been preoccupying me for for some time now. He's burned himself, and as a chef, it's hard to recover if you're continu continuously working and cooking. So, yeah, I can understand his pain. Oh, traveler and Paimon, <laughs> what brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, what brings us to this neck of the woods? Well, we uh, saw the bulletin board, and it seems like um. Uh, we might be able to help Smiley Yen Zhao. Uh, because, um, apparently, we are in this, uh, you know, competition where we have to be master chefs. And, um, I like cooking, to be honest, so... Yeah. That's going to be amazing. We, we saw your hiring notice downstairs, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm oh, fine. Come on. I swear. Hey, Yan Chao, what about, uh, you know, uh, the more the merrier? That is a concept that might be good to you. Who knows? Um, yeah. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Yeah, uh, tell, tell me what happened, Yan Xiao. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern rite. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. And yeah, that 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 might sting a little, but yeah, that doesn't sound like you though. Well, you know what they say: play with fire long enough, and you're bound to get burned. Even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing; uh, just a tiny burn. I can still. You can still, uh, what? Burn yourself again? Because that's not, that's, no, no. It's not a good thing. I'm sorry. Now, now. I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. Yeah. But the lantern rites only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. It, it, it's all right, Yanjiao. I, I can definitely handle the rest for you. Uh, or at least I can help. Like I said before, well, the more hands are, the better. To help in the treating process. Uh, uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, Yan Zhao, Yan Zhao. My boy, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean? Refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. Don't you know that a traveler is... Uh, <laughs> is someone with culinary skills that are top rate? And <laughs> you don't burn anything, I mean, unless they want to. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are great cooking, and yeah, we cook right. You have great proficiency, which, yeah, you didn't saw earlier, but I did some proficiency uh, for some dishes. Yeah, quite good. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Honestly. <laughs> Listen to you. 
Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. <laughs> but he's not wrong. Yan Shao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs tournament. No matter how you look mm -hmm. at it, yeah. his are big boots. You remember that, guys? The Masterful Chefs tournament? Jean Ling? Sure, his are big boots to fill. Can definitely help out. And then we'll be masterful chefs too. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I've got skills. I have the time to help them out. Um, I mean, I don't know if Paimon's going to help me, but whatever. Um, and uh, I don't run a restaurant, but I've been on the road for long enough to be able to handle myself and to survive. Which means I could be a great church. So, hey. I can become a chef and, and do that if I wanted to. Mm. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. What do you, what do you mean? I'm right here. <laughs> hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, <clears throat> Whoever could it be? Apparently, uh, Paimon, you've, uh, you've asked me something that's quite hard to answer right now. Someone that is a good chef and has the time to help out? I mean, there's Jean Lin, but I don't know if she's able to help out. Oh, come on, Paimon, you know that it's us. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, me. I don't I don't really count time on. <clears throat> oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. Oh, you do I recall now. I added you to okay. my mental well, list of people who can their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. <laughs> so um Yeah. So you've added me to your mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation because, um, well, we've done a lot of commissions, a lot of commissions for him regarding, uh, um, well, troubles in Dihua Marsh, where we had to fight off some, uh, hill churls, mid churls, uh, yeah. I think there was, a, there, there were also lower churls and, Maybe even ruin, ruin guards and ruin hunters. Yeah, uh, we've been uh, in quite a handful of situations before. But you forgot that I can coach. Um, Anyways, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> Because, just because, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Shao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Shao? Well, since it's you, <laughs> I suppose that's better than anyone else. What do you think, Traveler? Hey. Should we do it? What do you think, Paimon? Are we just going to go our separate ways, you know, and say that Yan Zhao uh, is not really at our level, at our level in order to torch for him? We're not like that. We help literally, and I mean literally, anyone we come across. And that sometimes comes back, comes, comes back to bite us. But, um... Should we do it? 
You said something about increasing the pay? No, I thought that's the day when Yan Zhao leaves his kitchen. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself, so I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days sure. to help I mean, smooth things over. You say so? Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? No. Uh, let's say that he's going to uh, supervise. I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, uh, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. <laughs> oh. Whew. All done. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Wait, wait. This was made with your measurements in mind? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, because, yeah, maybe, um, maybe, uh, Yan Zhao has, um, a higher stature than us. Which means that is that the, the counter is more at our level in order to touch more proficiently, let's say. This carpentry is incredible. You've missed your true calling. Ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Xiao. I'll leave you to take it from here. Elbow grease. Okay. Trouble of building a new stove top? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? <laughs> I mean, what, what do you expect? No, no, it's nothing like that. As boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Yeah, so, um, you, you're just, you're just saying that I'm small. Yeah, to you. I mean, I don't think that, that it would be that big of a problem, but, well, everyone looks short compared to you anyway, so, what about the matter? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma and appearance but you also need to ensure speed precision and consistency yes i do know that having the right equipment is a big part of that ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring it also slows you down and paying customers don't have unlimited patience That's true. Customers don't have a li unlimited patience. Um, if you worked in a restaurant or any fast food type restaurant, then you would know that um, working there is a is, is a race. Okay. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Hmm? Okay, and what about precision and consistency? <laughs> ah, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use, how to tell when a hmm? dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. Yeah. Everything has to be up to par. Which has, well, as he said, in the restaurant, there, there's actually no room for trial and error. But as the traveler, someone who has traveled uh, far and wide, I'm not too worried about that. And I've 
also uh, tackled things that are quite similar to this. If you remember the bartender event in Mondstadt, for example. Yeah, the tavern. And we had to prepare um, drinks to be for people in timely fashion. Yeah, I've done that. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure they get properly disposed of, huh? HAA, I'm going to eat them all. Because I have a a belly and a tummy. Are actually um actually represented by the void. Uh and yeah. It's Paimon. She's unheard of. Even the R and R don't know what she is, it's sadly, so But, um, yeah, I can tell for sure that she might be from Celestia. Maybe they they have um, erased erased her memory of the time that of the time when oh, we did or. Was familiar in Celestia, maybe, and when the time comes when we uh, actually go to Celestia, and somehow Simon's memory becomes unlocked, becomes unlocked. Um, well, uh, things might differ, and we might have to fight her. In her true form. But um I I dread I dread honestly I dread this moment because um we've been she's been a part of our team, I mean she's been a part of us for so long that when we inev in inevitably have to fight her, well uh I don't know how it's going to happen. Or just hope that it comes, it comes later than expected because I don't want to fight Paimon. But anyways, let's go back on topic. The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. You have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. Yep. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. That too. Uh, this last point is making Paimon's head spin. Oh, oh is that the last part? Making your head spin, Paimon. Come on. Try to keep up. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. I mean, uh, I'll try. See what I can come up with. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Right. Um, talk to Smiley Yanjiao and start work. Let me um just does everything here. Okay, well, let's talk to him again. There's no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. 
What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Okay. Oh, Primark's memory is like a steel trap. This is going to be a cinch. <laughs> okay, Paimon. Hey, so. End of the day. No, step out of it. Step out of it. Ah! Was Paimon just sleep floating? <laughs> sleep floating. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you can sleep float. Very common. Um, you've been talking nonsense since about halfway for the day. It's always this busy here. No, but this is peak season. Oh. You both did a mighty peak fine season. job for your first time serving guests at the inn. I mean... Well, what can I say? A pro. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. Okay, well, <laughs> we had the we had the right persons at the right moment. No strange request. Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. <laughs> Is that gel? <laughs> Did gel order that? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Zhao only eats almond tofu with no, no soy sauce. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Yeah, the real essence of Li Wei cuisine. Yeah. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. <laughs> yeah. Imagine a guest coming to 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 want you in, and um, well, sitting down, chair, table, and ordering the chef to whatever he wants that might be good but when the order has been received by the customer they don't like it because uh, it was not what they expected it to be uh, excuse me are you still open by any chance um Excuse me, where are you? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out. Should I, should I, I know that voice? <laughs> uh, what should what? we do? <laughs> it doesn't look like anyone's what? here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here. I'm a sorry, bit guys. Sooner. Um, I can't hear them <laughs> properly, but. I'm sorry. <laughs> Remine, Linny, and Lynette. Especially due to the fact that Linny and Lynette's birthday are birthdays 
we're not so far we're not too far off into the, into the past like their birthdays were quite recently and they're here with family as well <laughs> make quite a happy man it's all right if we start building a campfire now we'll be eating before too long You want to start building a campfire on the watch shoot in? I don't know about that. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture, culture vulture, vulture. That lost track of time. <laughs> Linny, Lynette, Fremenay, it is you! That's so amazing. Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Aww. And, and by the way, guys, uh, before, before I even move on from that, um, the, um, the story quest related to Fermine with uh, Felty's adventures was so wholesome and so emotional at the end that <laughs> no one in their right mind wouldn't be crying or having emotional well feelings flowing um from that event specifically oh yeah uh yeah i'm here uh greetings from an a traveler paimon what a nice surprise It's also a nice surprise for me, too. Paimon was gonna say the same thing! I just lending a helping hand at the inn. Yeah. I feel the free of them in it. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. But what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? Father. Alatino. <laughs> Nave. Yeah. She might she uh, actually she might be sending them on another mission to uh try and uh get well some info regarding cultures that and getting some new connections. Who knows? No, quite the opposite oh, actually. Okay, well we're in Leeway mind. on vacation. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Go so in leeway on vacation, you say? And you thought that you would have a cultural tour? Amazing. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened oh, yeah. recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. But there's still going to be a next mission. Now, this thing here is not related to the mission. <clears throat> it's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's True. lantern right season. And, um, you know, the uh, cultural tour Lenny mentioned? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it Whoa. Conjuring here. In Fontaine, they call it Magic Show, but in here, they call it Conjuring. Has anyone, has anyone seen the, the, um, the Conjuring movies, films? Just... Yeah, comment down below if you, if you did. Uh, in our time here, we've seen Conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show. And even a wusho dance. It was amazing. Wusho dance. So, a Liyue Opera show. Yunjin. Okay. Amazing. I remember her... Her chat scene. Uh, when was it?
think it was for a lantern right but i don't remember which one no 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 it was for uh for shenha story quest i think and uh well wushu dance just finished the lantern right festival so i mean even though it was a week and a half ago but yeah we finished the lantern right festival and the cutscene at the end, as I said, with um, drumming, wushu dancing, magnificent, really a sight to behold. So we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. Oh well, you have a. Uh, I think you have everything sorted out, right? We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural oh. tour in the area around here. Okay, so you met Granny Roshin in Chingsa village. Nice. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. Hey, don't you worry. Everything is according to change. Since you're here and uh, we are the best of friendos, it's nothing to worry about. I'll treat you all to a meal, courtesy of the traveler. You're welcome. <laughs> and speaking of eating, as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. Yeah. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Okay, well. That, that, that's, um, that's... All right. Need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? Yeah, what have you tried so far? Also that chat on the left here? Yeah. He knows. He doesn't say anything. But he knows better than most. That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chili. Misleading name? The fish one with the misleading name sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. What could that be? I wonder. Drowning in hot chilies. I don't know. Oh, you mean black bag? Oh, okay, steel? okay. Well, you're right. That this doesn't <laughs> give much away. Yeah, okay, so the black bat perch, <laughs> black bat perch too. It's been a while. Don't come at me, not knowing. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful, blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. <laughs> she could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, the sibling banter. That's a, uh, that's a, it's am amazing. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. Eh, uh, we know what to do, right? Let's leave them to starve to death. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. That was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, 
I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. Well, uh, it's fine, no problem. But uh, what would you like? Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll figure something out. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, <laughs> don't make it spicy. I mean... That's come on, not going to hurt you or anything. I I I don't want to make your stomach um be in a bit more trouble than it is actually or well, right now. Oh yeah. Alright, well let's uh wait. Can I talk to them? Sit. Talk to each one of them, all of them at the same time. Who knows? I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. <laughs> and now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Once was more than enough. Aw. Nat. Don't worry. I'll make sure that uh, it's not too spicy for you, girl. I'll be right back. Hey, Yan Zhao. You have an order coming up. Uh, are the utensils ready? Um, this is a doozy. Uh, I repeat, this is a doozy. We have to create something that is not spicy. Can we do it? <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you recommend? Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir-fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but hmm? really satisfying flavor. Okay, uh, that might do the trick. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? What's it called? Uh, it's called Golden Shrimp Balls. <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. Oh, They okay. call it the Palace <laughs> Jewels. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. Wow. Hey, it's a, it's a pretty enigmatic name, at least. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Oh, so you gave me the recipe. Nice. Okay, well, let's start the cooking. I mean, the actual cooking. Not the one that's been mentioned through... Uh, Story lines. Okay. <laughs> In its challenge of receiver of friends from afar, you must continuously prep, mix, and cook to make the dish that the guest wants. Alright. After you begin prepping, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. When the indicator points to the corresponding area, Click on the button to mark one instance of success. Right? Uh, after you begin mixing, hold the button to make the indicator bar move over the sliding ring. When the indicator bar points to the prompted area, release the button to mark one instance of success. I think you guys have, have already done this event, maybe. I'm late to the party, sorry guys. Been a week and a half, after all. <clears throat> after you begin cooking, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. When the indicator points to the corresponding area, click on the button to mark one instance of success. 
once stretching this complete you can plate and decorate the dish three elements of dishes can be decorated tableware accessories and add-ons each element has several decorations to choose from can i talk to you over uh smiley jiao yan jiao yeah crab bro like pearls of gold shrimp meat like chunks of jade <laughs> Whoever wrote this recipe had quite the imagination. Quite the imagination. Who should that be? Only maybe? I don't know. Or, or Jean Yun? Who knows? Well, uh, I guess I'll start tweeting then. Let's see how that goes. Let's have a look. All right, let's see. Oh, I have uh, this fancy uh, paper in my hand. Let me read what's on it, shall we? Um, so that says uh, the palace jewels. Uh, so the required ingredients. So we have shrimp, we have crab roe, we have snapdragon, we have egg, we have flour. And that's, uh, that, that's good, yeah. Uh, so what is the dish description? Let me see, let me see. Uh, so it is a fresh dish using shrimp meat, crab roe, salt, and snapdragon. It was salt, not flour. Eh, whatever. Um, people say of this dish, crab roe like pools of gold, shrimp meat like chunks of jade, who in their right mind writes this stuff? <laughs> the mild flavors of this dish make it suited to those who want to taste the essential flavor of food. Wait, wait. Uh, <clears throat> uh, some have uh, rated this dish as such. Um... What, what um, do you get when you put crab on shrimp and add freshness onto fresh meats? A sumptuous and flavorful dish. The tenderness of the shrimp and the crab flowers, the lettuce grains, grant its freshness, deliciousness, and the perfect mouthfeel. The crab roe shines brighter than gold. Trim glimmers like gems, forming a jewel table fit for a palace. Okay, well, hmm. I think um, I think um, that um, uh, this this note, uh, yeah, this note is mm, not going to serve to serve me anymore, or to help me anymore. So um, yeah, let's uh, serve them up. Ooh. Okay. Um. Step one: prepping. Prep the snapdragon and shrimp meat. Just at the right moment to prep. Okay. I'm good. Uh. Already, already failing, already failing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start. One, two, and three. Another one. One, two, and three. <laughs> look, look at his face. I was so happy. Prepped that shrimp and on snapdragons. It's amazing. Have to mixing. Prepare the bird eggs and flour. So there was flour, but there's also salt. Well, and add paste to the shrimp meat. After holding, release at the right moment to mix. Okay. Uh, 
uh, after holding this at the right moment to do so I don't know. yeah okay also good Ooh, go in Did I do it right? I don't know. Uh, step 3. <clears throat> Crouching. Add the ingredients and cook the palace jewels. Press at the right moment to crouch. Okay. The right moment to crouch. One, two, three. Look at his face. Okay. Um, ow, wait. So, vessel, in springs, world, and shadow, accessory to flourishing petals, and add on unbridled joy. What if I swap ornaments? Hmm. Okay, let me see. I like this one. I think this one is cool. So this is the accessory here. Um, so they put this one here. No, not that one. Yeah, I think the flourishing petals are quite good. For this specific uh, thing here. Bridled boy here. So stable balance. Thin sheet cake. Brilliant Lotus. I think the Brilliant Lotus might be better than the Bridal Joy. Just my my thought here. You didn't, you didn't say anything else. I mean, I don't mind. All right, so finish plating. Challenge complete. Palace jewels. It's it. Plus, it's, it's quite <laughs> it's quite fun the face that traveler makes at the end of which no, step is <laughs> the palace jewels enjoy All right mm. not spicy don't worry it's not spicy <laughs> Um, or maybe um, they are I'm checking on the disposition and looks of that specific uh, dish. And apparently, they did not keep my my plate. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we meant to say. You two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Sure. I mean, if, if I can, obviously. It would be my pleasure. Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> <laughs> We'll still let our guests enjoy the first bite because we are quite humble. And uh, also, uh, we are well, polite. Oh, right. Of course. You're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? Yeah, why aren't you eating? It's it what it's hot. The sauce looks it's not overpowering. Ah. Sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not wrong. <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. 
What is it? Do you need some water? <laughs> no. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Dini, being the big brother, and, uh, no. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what is that? Crab rope? <laughs> yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette. When, when it's not spicy, obviously. You know what? Sean Dune and Lynette might be good friends. They, um, they don't quite hold the spice too much. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. Always the first time. <laughs> According to the creator, chewy crab. Compliment succulent shrimp making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. What is that? I'm on. What are you doing? That, uh, that, uh, that might be a good screenshot. Or a good emoticons. The emoticons. <laughs> Add to a conversation. Just uh, a Paimon. With a wink. Oh, you need. The crab row glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the palace jewels. <laughs> yeah, maybe Paimon is a little too uh, too focused on that description, but okay. that helps the customers, or in that instance. You need Lynette and Fermine. Yeah. That's even, that's even better. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon <laughs> nope. always this well spoken? I know. No. <laughs> I know. He was not always this well spoken, I'm afraid. You can say that, uh. Uh. Yeah. You can say that she's just regurgitating what someone else wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh huh? Uh, what? What is it? Uh, it's half gone already? When did that happen? Wait, Lynette eats at least half of it? <laughs> oh, yeah, she was hungry. Maybe the spice affected her palate so much that when uh, there was something that could really clean plants or uh, yeah refresh the palate <laughs> it would be actually tackling that really fast well then when you were busy yapping away by right, paimon i heard that in liyue the biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate it's delicious thank you ever so much oh she's so sweet <laughs> and not even going to let five months have a bite. Wow. It's that good? Okay, well. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, so, Fermina is here. Lini is here. <laughs> Where's Lynette? Where did she go? Oh, she's over there. Alright. Where do you well, want to go next? That's not with me. I think I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Nice. 
I mean, practice makes perfect, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Lenny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Yeah, I mean, me too. Uh, well, I actually, I've actually uh, uh, started to practice using chopsticks. It's, uh, it's a training process, let's say, but uh, in due time, I'll be proficient when it comes to holding and using chopsticks while eating. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. You did that for me. I, I'm, well, really proud of you, and I know that you can get there. All right, Lenny. Um, I think I'm here because I won't see much. All right, Lenny, talk to me. Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes, but this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. Uh, I am the traveler, so... <laughs> can I say? I was improving myself. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master chef? Great master chef, I like I like that. Has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Whatever you say, oh great magician. Oh yeah? Well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. <laughs> um, you know what? I haven't stopped smiling this whole time. And it's not because of the camera, obviously. It's just I'm having such a good time uh, have, uh, seeing them again. And well, enjoying the company, it seems. <laughs> Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. <laughs> Calorie surplus detected. Oh, okay, well. Well, I've never seen you eat so much, Lynette. Yeah. Well, Linny and I are usually careful about what we eat, because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus it's generally bad hmm? manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't help yourself. You shouldn't stop yourself from eating as well. But once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Yeah. It's it's nice to eat, but it's even, even better when um, you eat with people you love. Like, it has a... Uh, has an even better taste, to be honest. I'm speaking from, from experience. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. That's what I said. That's what I said at the beginning. Eat it while it's hot. <laughs> at, at least, at least Lynette got it. All right, start to uh, Yan Zhao. You should almost think that uh, Zhang Li is actually the one cooking. All right. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. Uh, what can I say? We are gifted. There'll be more to come, so keep it up.
Sure. We got the recipe, Palace of Jewels. Alright. 